name is Dr. Uche. I'm a he for she. Yes, Adora Oyechere. I'm going to be moderating and taking you through the shores of this event today. I'm also the co-convener for African Women Impact Summit. There's something we are doing in the African Women Impact Summit that we're doing. We are looking for people in different sectors, putting spotlight on them, men and women, that are making impact, that are living what they call selfless life. So I believe in the power a woman brings to the table. And then we need publicity. It's only when we get adequate publicity that people will understand that female politicians will come, you know, to the table with something. Give women an opportunity. Invite them. We have very credible women. And we have qualified women who can speak. I have a voice like the man. <laughs> yeah, so I can do it better than the man. I was just floating, struggling, suffering, Persuading the fact also that I came from a very humble background where even to get my complete education was a problem. And that's somebody beside you. It's time to choose to challenge. It's time, time to choose to challenge. challenge. Not to challenge men no, or start challenging your friends. Challenge that obstacle yeah. that is right before you. So I'd like to say, uh, doff my hands for the women gender. We, we need more respect. We love you. Women don't even believe in themselves and I think foundationally that's what needs to happen women need to actually begin to believe in themselves we are stronger than we think we are where I am today is as a result of women wonderful, wonderful. yes so I stand for the women I appreciate everything the women has done for me. This is not your pastor talking on stage, but guess what? Every single thing I'm saying right now, if you receive it, you are going to become it. How many of you are women of impact in the house right now? Can I see those women that are ready to become presidents in Nigeria? By God's grace, we've been on this mission for over 20 years. He said it's only a madman that will keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. But guess what? I'm here to tell you that it's time for women to rise. When preparation meets opportunities, there's a lot that you can achieve. When you are prepared, it sort of gives you that confidence to, you know, take on that task. I started selling our clicker. Do something. And that is why I was able to survive in politics. Don't be ashamed. Don't be too big to learn. You know why you are shame? You are busy doing a Makwanda Imbo. I'll be waiting and OB. Big for nothing. So you, when you have already finished lying that you are a graduate, you don't know how to say you are not. I didn't say don't go to school. Please go to school. You need that. Please do that. Very important. But if you test your brain and you know if you carry on, get a skill. How many of you want to see the Africa where women are going to occupy 50% of the leadership space? How many of you that are here want to see women playing, playing in the table of men and making impact? Can I see hands up in the air? I see women becoming the richest woman in the world, in the world. Remember, one of the key things for the African Women Impact Summit is entrepreneurship, empowerment um, of young people. First, when I was leaving the bank, I used to be a banker um, for over five years before I moved into tech. When I was leaving, my director, she was so furious. She told me, she said, Debbie, I know you're a very restless person, but tech, I never saw that coming. Um, and this is a question I'll ask you because I'm also your mentor and I care about you. What if you fail? What are you going to do? Every time man has developed technology, he has moved the human conversation forward. Potential is untapped power. And I'm saying that women leaders have the potential the media is the fourth estate of the realm. And one of the roles of the media is that of agenda uh, setting, which means the media not only reports what it sees, but it also paints the ideal picture of a role for women that is more of the back seat than the front seat. With the support and partnership from the likes of engineer Noah Danlaji, but you made up your mind to champion a cause. And that's why we are bringing out that project for women, women to own a land. The essence is to have more women, you know, own properties, own lands and own houses. Because one thing you know about our free is that when we talk about it, we do it. I have women in places and I see 
and I know for a fact that when you give a woman a role and she's committed and she has the tool to do the job, they do better. Many people are into different kinds of industry and they just do things to for themselves, me, myself and I. The worst thing that can happen to a man is for a man to have money. And when you have money, that money is meant for you and your family. You are not impacting society. It leads to frustration. You go in the Fedra, wear BB clothes, shake your bum bum. It will not last. <laughs> the only thing that will last is a demonstration of capacity well, and your God holding you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I bring you compliments and warm greetings from the Honorable Minister, then Pauline Talen. The mission was so big that they saw beyond the fact that this girl is 27 years old. Every single man be need a platform. And uh, that's what I believe on, and that's what we believe in giving a platform for a lot of people to showcase their talent. We are also luckily working with some NGO from Canada who are providing about almost 5,000 sewing machines from Senegal. Another way to gain experience is to share your own experience. But I am a woman and I need to embrace my womanhood qualities. You know, we are intelligent, we are compassionate. Through the social media, I've been able to raise lots of help for my people. I've been able to empower many women, many girls. I officially declare this program open uh, by the special grace of God. It is open for everyone and it is for free. You are not paying for. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to officially open up this meeting, African Women Impact Summit 2020, that is going to bring about transformation, reformation, and impact in the lives of our women and also the he for she. Welcome everybody, African Women Impact Summit 2021. God bless you. My name is Dr. Oche. I love you guys.